I'm Shay Kernick. I do poetry and persuasive, and tonight I will be doing my poetry. All right. You do not do, you do not do. Any more, black shoe, in which I have lived like a foot for 30 years, poor and white, barely daring to breathe or a chew. Daddy, I've had to kill you. Sylvia Plath wrote the poem Daddy four months before her suicide. It says a great deal about Sylvia, who was abandoned by both prominent male figures in her life, her father and her husband of seven years. These selections explore the relationship between Sylvia and her family. Daddy by Sylvia Plath. You died before I had time. Marble heavy, a bag full of God. I used to pray to recover you. In the German tongue, in the Polish town, scraped flat by the roller of wars. But the name of the town is common, my Polak friend. It says there are a dozen or two. So I can never tell where you put your foot, your root. I can never talk to you. The tongue stuck in my jaw. It stuck like a barbed wire snare. I could hardly speak. I thought every German was you. And the language obscene, an engine, chuffing me off like a Jew, a Jew to Dachau, Auschwitz, Belsen. I began to talk like a Jew. I think I may well be a Jew. The snows of Tyrol, the clear beer of Vienna, are not very pure or true. With my gypsy ancestress and my rare luck and my Tarak pack, I may be a bit of a Jew. But I have always been scared of you. With your Luftwaffe and your gobbledygook and your neat mustache and your Aryan eye, bright blue. Panzerman, Panzerman, oh you. Not God, but a swastika. So black, no sky could squeak through. Every woman adores a fascist. The boot in the face, the brute, brute heart of a brute like you. You stand at the blackboard, Daddy, and the picture I have of you, a cleft in your chin instead of your foot. But no less a devil for that. I was 10 when they buried you. At 20, I tried to die and get back to you. I thought even the bones would do. But they pulled me out of the sack and they stuck me together with glue. And I knew what I had to do. I made a model of you a man in black with a Mein Kampf look, and I said, I do. So daddy, I'm finally through. The black telephone's off the roof. The voices can't warm through. If I've killed one man, I've killed two. The man who said he was you, and the vampire who said he was you, and drank my blood for a year, seven years if you want to know. Daddy, you can lie back now. There's a stake in your fat black heart. And the villagers never liked you. They're dancing and stomping on you. They always knew it was you. Daddy, you bastard, I'm through. Sylvia's husband, Ted Hughes, was an English poet. Hugh gives a, a glimpse into the complexities of their infamous relationship in A Pink Wool Knitted Dress by Ted Hughes. In your pink wool knitted dress, before anything had smudged anything, you stood at the altar, Blue's day. Rain, so that just for umbrella was the only furnishing about me. Newer than three years in nerd, my tie, soul drab, veteran RAF black, was the used up symbol of a tie. My cord jacket, thrice dyed black, just hanging on to itself, exhausted. I was a post war utility son in law, not quite the frog prince. Maybe hit the swinehood, stealing his daughter pedigree dreams. From under her watch that the towered social lit future, no ceremony could, could strip me out of my uniform. I wore my whole wardrobe, except for the odd square identical item. My wedding, like nature, wanted to hide. However, if we were going to be married, it had better be in the Westminster Abbey. Why not? The dean told us why not. And that, how, that is how I learned that I had the parish church, St. George of the Chimney Sweeps. To a closest friend for best man, my squire, to hold the meanwhile rings. We requisitioned the sexton, twist of outrage. You were transfigured, so slender and new and naked. A nodding spray of wet lilac. Li li you shook, you sobbed with joy. You were ocean depth, brimming with God. You said that you saw the heavens open and how the riches ready to drop upon us. Levitated beside you, I stood subjected. In the echo gaunt weekday chancel, I see you wrestling to contain your flames, and your pink wool knitted dress, and your eye pupils, great cut jewels, jostling their tear flames, 
truly like big jewels, shaken in a dice cup and held up to me. The dysfunctional relationship between Ted and Sylvia was bound to affect their daughter, Frida. In the final poem, Frida Hughes vents her wrath at the British Broadcasting Corporation over the portrayal of her mother, My Mother, by Frida Hughes. Now, they want to make a film for anyone lacking the ability to picture the body, head and oven, orphaning children. They think I should give them my mother's words to fill the mouth of their monster, their Sylvia suicide doll. 